So hi, I'm uh, Tom Cross. I'm the manager of the IBM X-Force research team. We're a group within IBM who studies uh, computer security vulnerabilities and exploits and malware and try to understand you know, how people are breaking into computer networks and what we can do to fight it. We publish uh, twice a year this report, which has a bunch of statistics that we've collected uh, regarding computer security issues on the internet and um, you know, how they're evolving. There's a bunch of different data sources that we use for this report. Um, we have a database of every security vulnerability that's been disclosed over the past uh, 15 years or so. We have uh, tens of thousands of network sensors all over the world that we manage that collect all this um, exploit and attack information that we look at. Uh, we also we try to sign up for as much spam as we can in X-Force, so we get a lot of spam and we get a lot of phishing attacks. And so we, we pick it all apart and we try to boil it down for you so that it, it can help you uh, think about what's going on with computer security. A couple highlights from our, our new report, which we're actually putting out this week. Uh, uh, to me, um, one of the most interesting things that's been going on in the past six months uh, is a, a, sub a substantial increase in the volume of vulnerability disclosure. Uh, I think we're up 36% uh, uh, for 2010 over the same period in 2009. Um, what that means for my team is a lot more work uh, because we've got to catalog all those vulnerabilities, we've got to go through all of them, we have to make sure we're protecting our customers against attacks that target them. It also means more work for people in the IT industry who are responsible for patching these security vulnerabilities. Um, and uh, uh, in some respects, it, it may be the product of work that's going on in some of the software companies. Hopefully, um, uh, a lot of them are spending more time trying to identify security vulnerabilities in their software and, and patch them and inform the public about them and fix them before the bad guys are able to target them. So it might actually be a good sign that we've seen such an increase in vulnerability disclosure. But uh, uh, for us, it, uh, it certainly makes it days longer. Um, an another thing that we've been seeing which is uh, uh, concerning is, is the the kinds of sophisticated attacks that uh, uh, people have been targeted with in the past six months and the continually raising bar of sophistication. Uh, advanced persistent threat is a word that has been sort of bandied about in the security industry in the, fast, in the past few months. It used to be the case that really only, um, only people who are network administrators and government institutions would really be concerned about that sort of sophisticated state-sponsored attacker. Uh, but today, increasingly, enterprises and other kinds of private organizations are being targeted as well. And these attacks are usually very covert. They're designed to evade detection by uh, commercial off-the-shelf security solutions, um, such as network IPS and antivirus. And so because we make security solutions here at IBM, uh, we want to make sure that we're blocking these attacks. And so we, we look at that stuff very carefully and uh, develop technologies for detecting attempts at evasion. Another thing that um, uh, we looked at in this report that I think is really interesting um, is uh, security vulnerabilities in virtualization systems. Uh, a lot of uh, IT organizations are looking at virtualization right now because it's a, a way to save a lot of money in your data center by consolidating a bunch of virtual applications on a single physical server. Uh, but one of the questions that people ask when they get into that is, uh, can they share uh, low security applications and high security applications on the same physical box because the hypervisor and the virtualization software will separate them? Uh, so we looked at that question and what we learned is that 35% uh, of the security vulnerabilities that have been disclosed in virtualization software, uh, particularly server class virtualization software that you'd use in a production environment in an enterprise, 35% um, of those vulnerabilities affect the hypervisor which means that uh, if someone were to break into a low security load on a computer, they could then attack the hypervisor and use that access to attack high security loads that are running on the same physical computer. So we think that's an important concern to consider when you're architecting virtual systems and hopefully that statistic will help inform people's thinking about how to do this right. Uh, so please uh, download our report, take a look at it. Um, you know, we're glad we're able to compile some of these statistics and get them out there in the public and uh, we hope you find it useful. Thank you.